Are you having fun with this, man? Uh, this, is a, this is a really good topic. I like every now and then. I like. What this. are your thoughts, Richie? My, my thoughts. First of all, here's exactly what's going to happen. We've been we've been through enough of these of these manufactured government crises in the past mm-hmm. couple of years that I've learned my lesson, and I know that Thursday night, pri- minutes before midnight, you're going to see flashed across your TV set mm-hmm. breaking news. Breaking news: Congress comes to a deal. You're going to see that, and it's going and again, and that's and that's all this is. This is self imposed. This is this is not a, a, a crisis that came abro- uh, you know attacked us at our shores this isn't a crisis that just arose out of nowhere this is something that both houses both uh, excuse me both parties agreed to put themselves into this is all mm-hmm. self-inflicted mm-hmm. the fact that, that that they're on tv grandstanding is disgraceful and it's it's a distraction i've said i've said it a thousand times and uh, again i don't want to lean too far away from the subject but as uh, you know so far as uh, as uh, as the press keeps asking questions about this this silly uh, again this uh, a, a silly self-inflicted crisis the less time that they're going to have to ask about drones and i, mm-hmm. I you, mm-hmm. you, you know i know you kind of cackled at me about that earlier but that's what this is this is this is a distraction and we've seen distraction and uh we've had time and time again where both parties could, could have put this distraction to bed and they opted not to well and as you clear your throat what uh Thank you. <laughs> what uh what does it mean when you say that i mean are, are you talking uh that you are for or against uh the use of drones oh against them it, 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 first of all it's a, it, it's a crime against international law to say nothing of the fact that if the you know if the and again i don't want to get too far you know in, in, in into another subject here but the, you, you know you can't get on tv as the president of the united states or anybody any representative of government and say the united states stands for freedom justice and all the and all this other red white and blue stuff and at the same time you're killing people in secret in a sovereign over over sovereign border that's not right casey it's not right and i you know and i just wish that 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 the government and, and and the press would do their job and expose this stuff and make sure that 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 stuff like the illegal drone program is what I'll call it comes to light mm-hmm. and, and gets put under the proper scrutiny. Those are the gotcha. questions that need to be asked by the New York Times, not 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 what the, the these fakak the gut budget cuts are going to become Friday night. That's nonsense. <laughs> yeah, it uh, seems to just be uh, in the way and kind of mess with the cogs of uh, of the media and and uh, just give somebody something else to talk about. Yeah, and, and, and that's what I'm saying. And, and now I hear this is only the first of three of these that we're going to have to go through because the debt <laughs> crisis is coming up again. And again, completely manufactured. This country's been raising the debt ceiling, Casey, for 200 years, since 1789. Okay, And for some reason, all of a sudden last year, the definition of, of debt ceiling changed. All of a sudden, the 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 the, 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 the so, these radio shows we know who they are. These radio shows have tried to convince people that the debt ceiling is the budget, and it is not. I've made the I, I've talked to you about this on, on the radio quite a few mm-hmm. times. That the comparison with the debt uh, the debt ceiling is this: Casey and Richie go out to dinner. Okay, we spend one hundred dollars at the restaurant. I then tell Casey, you know what? You ate too much. Neither one of us is paying for this bill. That's what the debt ceiling is. It's not the budget. The budget is the money you're going to spend next time. The debt ceiling is paying for the stuff you already agreed on. And you already voted on, by the way, both sides. That's the debt ceiling. I remember I remember when that uh when that happened. I believe Al Gore invented that, didn't he? Are you going to make jokes? <laughs> First of all, and I'll set you straight on one other thing real quick. Uh, <laughs> and while we're playing this verbal tennis back and forth, Al Gore never, never, and I, and again, I know the radio shows tell these people on Facebook how to, how to react to this, but Al Gore never, never made the claim. a day in his life. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Go, no, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> say what you're gonna say. I'm my, playing. It was my volley. Then you can, you can step on my volley after that. <laughs> Al Gore never made the claim that he invented the internet. That is that is a myth fabricated to take it out of context. Take it out of context. Take seven contexts out of context. <laughs> Not even the same neighborhood. Here's my advice: if you want to if you want to talk about politics with your buddies, uh, two things I would suggest: a) turn the radio off, and b) stop reading Facebook. 
90% of all the crap <laughs> that's posted <laughs> on Facebook <laughs> regarding politics is fake. It's garbage. It's put out there by the right wingers. By you, by guys like you. <laughs> no, I'm just I know you don't even participate in Facebook, but but this, no. but these matters are very complicated. These are very complicated, and they cannot be solved with bumper sticker slogans. You know, you right. got to understand what this stuff means, and it's incredibly complicated. Oh yeah, for sure. That's but why how Rand did Paul it get so complicated? Because yeah, that's well, how, how did it get so complicated? It's supposed to be. It's supposed to be complicated. That's how politics is designed. It's supposed to be difficult, and it's supposed to have this procedure, and it's supposed to not be easy, Casey. Mm-hmm. It's supposed mm-hmm. to. It's supposed to be difficult in the sense that each side is supposed to be debating these issues. One side debates, two sides debate, and then you find a middle ground and you compromise. That is the art of politics: is compromise. You want to talk about bumper sticker slogans? There's one right there. The art of politics is compromise, and I think we're at a problem right now where nobody's compromising, and I think each side is, more so the Republicans, each side is backing <laughs> themselves. In, in, each side is backing themselves up into a wall, Casey, where they don't leave themselves any maneuverability to go right or left, and I don't mean that politically. I mean that literally moving right or yeah. left. And that's well, you know— I, what I see happening is I see uh, that we go ahead and we fire everybody in government and we just use Facebook polls to get our no. uh, legislation <laughs> made. No, absolutely not. Because if we let face, because like I said, I'm just like reading Facebook, and that's how I know the type of callers we're going to get. Because but when you opened up this discussion, I looked on Facebook. I said, okay, people hate the EPA. People love Ron Paul. <laughs> All right, these are the calls we're going to get today, and I was right. But 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 like I said, this is a 100 percent manufactured issue. This is something we created. You know, if you want to talk about things Americans are good at creating, guess what? Fake fake crisis is one of them this is what we do mm-hmm. this is the one thing that we're good at and uh it may be well well and good for all these guys to uh to do this political grandstanding and posturing on c-span on fox news cnn wherever they are but you know what but come friday if nothing's done real people are going to be affected and this is one thing that none of them up there on that hill care about they don't care that real people are going to be affected we could pretend we could point fingers and say oh you know what this person's to blame for society that person's to blame for, to, uh, for society but you know what we when you put a face on that, and Friday there's going to be faces on that. Mm-hmm, when you put a mm-hmm. face on that, you realize that real people are involved, and this isn't just a game. And too many people look at this as a game. They look at it as a sport. It's my side versus your side. But you know what? Friday somebody's going to be going to cash a check, and it's not going to be there, and their kids aren't going to have food. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, man. All right. Well, hey, we're going to go ahead and uh, take another break. Uh, and when we get back, we're going to come to the phones. And uh, Butthead in Wisconsin, you'll be first. This is Casey Phillips. And Richie Oliveri, Road Dog Live, Sirius XM 106. Welcome back into Road Dog Live. KC with you. Richie, we uh, did just have a little bit of a debate, and I do uh, want to point out uh, it, it takes me a lot of times, uh, a couple of minutes to di- digest what I've heard uh, in order to. Uh, make sense of everything that's just been come, you know, thrown at me. And uh, Richie, I do want to uh, call us out uh, just very briefly. Uh, right. You you did make the um, statement that uh, this is a manufactured uh, issue, and mm-hmm. that uh, as Americans and the, pol- the politics in America is very good at manufacturing crises, 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 crises. right. Crises. Anyway, and then in the next statement, you did make the comment that hey, come Friday. Uh, that people, uh, if nothing's done, people will be uh, losing uh, pay. Right. So what you're, and, say, what uh, so you're saying seems is my contradictory. U- my, right. My usage of the word uh, 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 cri- manufactured crises, uh, mm-hmm. you're saying is is is, is uh, contradictory. And here's why I say it's not. It's because the manufactured crisis is what led us to Friday. We didn't have to get to this point. That sequester didn't have to be in the original budget. You see what I'm saying? If everybody would have just gotten along and come and, to the negotiating did, table, right? But 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 rather than negotiating properly back, I think when whenever it was when they set up the uh, the the sequester, what was it a year or so ago? I think it was the last debt ceiling crisis oh, we had. Man, 
Yeah, but, but it goes it further back. Yeah, than when, that, yeah. When, 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 whenever they set that negotiation up, rather and and again, the whole fight was over the budget. Rather than coming to a concrete budget agreement at that particular time, they mm-hmm. opted to do this stupid sequester and push it down to the fir- to the first of March. I'm with so, you. So that's I'm with what you. I say when I say manufactured crisis. We did not have now. It, like I said, it'll be a real crisis if nothing's done. But the manufactured uh, the manufactured and theatrical part of it comes into play when I say that we shouldn't have even been to this part. This is just something that they kicked down the road when they didn't have to do that. Gotcha. Makes perfect sense. All right. Appreciate that, now, man. I just that, wanted some that, clarity. Is that, is that better? Is that a better explanation than the one I gave you off the air that was two only two words? Yeah, that started with an <laughs> F and ended with a U. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it was. Thank you very much. No problem. Glad I can clear and that with up. that, we are going to go ahead to Wisconsin and go to Butthead. Hey, Butthead. <laughs> Butthead. Uh, it's really Burhead, Casey. Burhead. But, uh, Sorry, man. Same thing. Yeah, that. What would happen if the U.S. government, instead of spending all this money uh, on uh, manufacturing and saving the housing and all that. What if they cut everybody a check for a million dollars who was a uh, Social Security holding uh, uh, individual in the U.S.? What would that do? And it went through that it would actually end up saving the federal government money, and uh, there would be requirements that they would have to pay their home off, so that would re- relieve all of the debt and the real estate uh uh, problems that were going on, and uh, also they would be required to buy a new car. Here's the and, problem. Uh, so, yeah, and I knew you were going to comment, and that's fine. <laughs> I, I was, I was going to open it up for your comment on this, but it seemed like a very valid idea. I'll tell you what. You want to break, and then I'll give you my comment on the other side. How's that? You want to do that? Sure, man. You're let's the do, let's do, yeah, let's do one of those cliffhangers. <laughs> what is Richie going to say? Bum, bum, bum. Casey, I'll we'll tell you right what. Back. Wait, wait, wait. I'll tell you what. Before we before we uh, hit the break, you can just ask me the question uh, uh, one more time. You want another question? Yeah. A- a- ask me the question. What a- would happen? Ask, ask me the question. What would happen instead of the government spending money mm-hmm. to bail out auto manufacturers and bail out uh, financial institutions and bad mortgage uh, lending procedures, whatever you want to call it, instead of uh, spending all the money on those institutions, give the money to the American people, provided that they use the money to pay off their mortgage and to buy a new automobile. Find out next on Road Dog Live. It's been too long since we have asked the question, but Richie, I'll bring you back in. What would happen if the federal government did stroke a check for the American public, each and every individual holding a social security number uh, in order to pay off their mortgage and to pay off uh, $1 million, their, right? their, their, their vehicle or however much it would take? I mean, if, if they are going to spend the money anyway, why not empower the U.S. Uh, public to pay off their debt. Well, the, the the scenario you proposed was giving each of these people one million dollars, uh, and that's where I drew the problem with uh, because what what you're doing is when you give everybody a million dollars, you've devalued one million dollars, and if everybody had one million dollars, you would go to the supermarket tomorrow and milk would be forty two thousand dollars a gallon. That's that that that's that that's the way uh, it, it would work when 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 the economy's falsely inflated, and I think the same thing would happen. Um, if you gave everybody money just to pay off their bills the same exact thing would happen it would just drive every uh, the price of everything up because money money would in a sense have no value because you've given it no value i don't understand how that would work debt is the value of money that's that's what gives money its value is, is is the purchase power of that dollar and if you've negated that purchase power by giving everybody the purchase power for nothing you're going you're going to increase you're you're going to inflate there's going to be mass inflation attached to that okay so even though the federal government would be saving millions of dollars uh as opposed to you know what they would be doing uh then you're saying that it would i'll give you a good example you played the game monopoly right 
Mm-hmm. When you play the game Monopoly, which version do you use? Do you do you play do you play that the uh, the free parking is just the free parking, or do you put money into it? Put money into it. You put money into it, and and at some point the game starts to suck because because people start hitting that free parking, and now you've put a false economy into the game. You've put an unnatural economy into the game, and it devalues the game, and it devalues the properties, and it devalues the holdings of everybody around you because there's been that influx of uh, of a false economy. That depends on how many hotels I got, though. If I'm winning, I'm happy. <laughs> We're gonna jump out of the way for the end of the hour. You know, it's a, it's a good uh, uh, a good conversation to have, really, because I don't understand it, and uh, so I want to know. And I want to be clear. I'm not, I, yeah, I, I, I want to be clear. I'm not an economist, but I'm saying, but I know the fact that when you do put false money into the economy, there is there will be inflation. We'll be back. I want to make it clear that we're not radio hosts either. <laughs> don't let us fool you. <laughs> Let's go. We're out. <laughs>